Hello, and welcome back to more VGM, everybody. Go. Um, uh, now starting. <laughs> yeah, we're, we, we, we started. Just started. Started the episode. Yeah. The, the, the episode is, is going. It's The timer's set. It's going. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. We're back with more yes. Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. Can still sort of sing before <laughs> the parents go to sleep. <laughs> oh, we get Which, ready speaking of singing, Taco's more... been doing. Yeah, Taco's been a little busy with with music production. Like I did a, I did some theater for the last couple of weeks, and then and then I have a rock opera that I'm doing. This is Taco's first opera, by the way. Just, just, just wet in your nose. Anyways. <laughs> Story time. <laughs> Story time. Not, not for talk. This, this, this is, is now time for more dating of the dad. Will. It is. Or is, or is this dating taco? Hmm? <laughs> are we really dating dads or are we dating taco? Is hmm. taco a dad? <laughs> but taco is in the room. True. Or at least call it. <laughs> I don't know. Taco was in the room. It would, might be doing something. Other things. Yeah, doing <laughs> we'd, something. We'd have else. to get on a. We'd have to get on a, a completely different website, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. What? What are we missing? I'm missing context for why we're. Yeah. I, why, what happened right before this? I'm missing context. Uh, why, why do we need to be at Amanda's is, school? I don't remember why we're here. It's been a while this since film, we've this, played. It's been a while since we've YouTube, played. It's going to be like... Nothing pretty, but like... Yeah, it's going to be like really close together. But for us, it's been a couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't remember this, why this, we're this here. Feels like, this almost feels like actually waking up from a nap all of a sudden. <laughs> and well, like we did being just wake dragged. up. <laughs> we did just wake up. And and then we're being dragged to school by, well, in the, in this case, the uh, the director of the, the, the scripts telling us to go to Amanda's school. <laughs> yeah. Where, I, where, I, God, my mom occasionally got dragged to, to her classroom a few times. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, this this is this is one of those moments where Taco's just like, yeah, this is a little too real. Um, <laughs> waking up, getting dragged to some school, doing all the school shit, and being like, why am I here? Why am I here again? <laughs> Who are you people, and where is my horse? <laughs> I know Amanda had that sleepover with a friend. I remember that too. And yeah. we went to bed early we woke up and now we're at the school but i don't remember why we're at the school i don't remember either i'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard but hopefully nobody will haggard. notice anyway. Irish. Mm. feeling pretty okay. haggard you're a wizard haggard. amanda haggard. you're a wizard amanda making me tired all the time <laughs> gosh <laughs> I check my watch and am relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and oh approach him for Oh, dear lord. This, this moment. Oh, boy. Hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't you try, know? Dragon. Don't try. <laughs> Toriyama! Don't cry, Dragono. It's okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> As you're cutting out of my head. <laughs> oh, thank you. <coughs> Discord, you're great. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Lovely Discord. Excuse yes. me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? I was good. I was really hoping you'd say where Mr. Vegeta's classroom is. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where Mr. Vegeta's classroom is? I have to fight him. I have to fight him. 
He said he was really strong. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this kid. This kid, man. The youth <laughs> turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. Now, Taco, Taco doesn't like stereotyping, but this guy looks like he does hard drugs. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I don't he's know. That's just got, got, he's just goth. Like, I mean, I imagine the worst he does is maybe a little bit of the weed, you know? Maybe a little Mary Jane every once in a while. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He's, he doesn't do the hard ones. He does. He just does does some. Not yeah. the hard ones, necessarily, I guess. Yeah. You know, maybe a hit of ecstasy. Maybe a handful of shrooms. You know? <laughs> just has rolled shrooms, you know? Heavily. It's natural stuff. Natural stuff. I'm actually surprised he has a belt. <laughs> I'm more surprised he only has one. <laughs> only has one. <laughs> Bro, you're absolutely. I mean, look, you know look, look, look at all those wrist you are abs Dude, you are absolutely right. This guy has way too little amount of belts. They need to take him back to the design room for freaking for more belts. Yeah, th th this is this is like this is like a modern goth. This isn't like back in the heyday of hot topic goths, where everybody's everybody was wearing trip pants. Mm -hmm. If you if you if you know if you remember trips, like those were all the rage with the goths and the emos and the scenes. I, I don't really know. Taco was very uh, very ignorant in high school very unobservant uh, of other people trips were like the big pants Ooh. among like all those groups then again you are also it, you are also older than taco too yeah. so i'm also more goth than taco too weirdly which is funny because taco would unironically wear goth clothes and it would be very cute <clears throat> it would be very cute. anyways i would, um. I would, wear, a <laughs> I would wear a taco yeah <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> trips were basically like designer cargo pants but they were made out of like a thicker material than like your average cargo pants were and they had like a bunch of chains on them Ooh. so you, you see like this guy has like the chain from his belt going around to the back there was trips basically had like chains like that and like on the pockets and stuff and yeah oh and they they oh. were like designer pants so they were like expensive pants they were like like 70 bucks a pair dude that's too much for pants <laughs> yeah they were expensive Man. pants i never had any personally because they they were too expensive uh taco tucker actually needs to go through all their clothes and uh get rid of them Oh, not to, well, not to mention, I also kind of have yeah, like a ones. weird body shape, so finding pants that actually fit me is kind of hard. Weird. Yeah. I talk to you back in the <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, but I, I'm surprised he's um, not wearing trips, but yeah. Do I do I voice it or do do you? Can Can you do like a youthful, like unimpressed? monotone goth voice I like literally just say the word sigh <laughs> sigh I, come on kid I'm late for a meeting Mr. Hill hey yeah there you go hey, you got it Mr. Vegeta I, Vega <laughs> I mean Vega <laughs> I don't know have you tried the exit wow this guy's a prick <laughs> T typical guy. <laughs> okay, wow, wise guy. Are you going to help me or not? And this is why no one really likes your kind. I mean, <laughs> I speak for yourself. Maybe, maybe not the guys, but goth girls. Goth girls. That's you, a you different story. Goth girls are a different can story. We, can we bring back like the 90s, early 2000s, like goth emo scene look on girls? That was like. Please. Peak yeah. character design. It was so good, dude. Like My I would. God, know, they were hot. I would wear it. I would wear it. I'd wear it. Yeah, I'd wear a taco. Very, very great. 
Not necessarily a fan of the personality that went with that came with the goth girls, but you know. Well, if you weren't a fan of their it, personality, that then you would go after like the scene girls, which were usually like scene girls were like halfway in between goth and pastel goth, but they had like a more bubbly personality. Oh yes, this sounds perfect for Taco. I mean, uh, yeah. what? <laughs> Scene girls were also more into, like, the hair. So they would have, like, uh, bright colored hair, and they would, like, poof it up and put it in hairspray and design their hair. Scene girls were more animu than goth girls were. <laughs> Reminds me of... Because I keep scrolling through Twitter by accident, and gosh, I can spend way too long on Twitter, by the way. Um... Freaking it's not go good, through Twitter it's not good and for occasionally, your mental health. I occasionally see freaking the comics for for the freaking goth girl comics. It's so freaking adorable. Oh yeah, Ma Mary Weathers. Uh, not Mary Weathers. Uh, someone else is. I can't remember. Who. Oh, okay. I know Mary That's Weathers. That's an adorable little art style, style, but the goth girl and the it's, doc it's, and the like goth. Yeah, that, boy that don't job. get me wrong. Those are those are pretty great too. But I saw I keep getting other ones that I'm like. I like this. It's just, oh yeah, because it's a like goth girl lesbian, mm -hmm. and it's 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 pretty great. <laughs> I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> pretty great. Oh, anyways, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss them. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vegeta uh, Vega's class anywhere. After a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. Get back to where that low rent Gerard went. <laughs> low rent Gerard way is standing. Tonight is the night that I fall for you. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> when I was, was a young boy, my father took me into the city. To oh, see a, a marching band. <laughs> Gosh dang it, if only Taco could sing. Taco could actually sing quite a bit of those. If only I could sing. If only you could sing. <laughs> Fully ready okay. to give him a piece of my mind, when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Hmm? Oh, it's a new dad. It's a new daddy. Hugo. Uh, hey, I was gonna say, his you, you go, go, I go. <laughs> I was gonna say, his... Are we talking about his name or his Hugo penis? I mean, um... Oh, oh? <laughs> I, mean, I mean... That's where my ma mind went with that, I'm sorry. Taco Loon. I mean... <laughs> He we knew does this. appear to be of African descent, girthy. so... His pants look a little girthy, too. <laughs> just just saying. Hey, you know, a little tight in the crotchety area. Just a little. Yeah. Well, we don't know. We don't know what he's packing. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what is this episode? Gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, so what, what, what voice do you give? I mean, for, again... Taco may or may not be looking into setting up stuff on a certain, certain, uh, not uh, a certain adult website. Up. <laughs> it's the sadly tacos ran into two issues with that, but you know, well, uh, that, that's for another time. Um, I don't think we've ran into him before, so yeah. Uh, uh. I was thinking he was the uh, cafe guy, but no, that, that was a different guy. No, the guy. cafe guy is a completely different dude. Yeah. I forget his name. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think I remember any of the dad's names now. Holy uh, fuck. I don't either. <laughs> I'll see them be like, it's that guy his face. Yeah. What's, it, it, it's, what's his face? Uh, Jeff? No. <laughs> I, re I remember Amanda and I remember us. Splurt McGirt. <laughs> I would hope you remember Amanda. Amanda is your, is our daughter after. Um. <laughs> I mean, 
I, I could just be, you know, a piece of shit father that doesn't remember my own child. Who are exactly. you? But you're Goku. Why would Goku forget that? <laughs> it's true. I mean, Splurt McGurt. <laughs> it's true. Goku remembers his kids' names. He just dies so he doesn't have to deal with them. Smart move. <laughs> Goku really, really, really planned that one out. <laughs> I don't, have, I don't have to be involved if I'm dead. I don't have to be involved if I'm dead. I'll just come back and, you know, save the planet if some evil comes along and tries to destroy it. But <laughs> other than that, I'll just stay in the afterlife and train with King Kai or Beerus or Whis or whoever I happen to be training with at the time. Uh, uh Lucian. I, just, I love the idea of just... I, I I don't I've not really watched a whole lot. Of, I don't I've basically not never watched Dragon Ball, but uh, gosh, um, <laughs> I just had the thought of could, could you imagine if like every time Goku re meets uh, Vegeta, he just like you don't remember your name. <laughs> you, you you old so and so. You don't remember my name, do you? Of course I do. You No, of course uh, I do. It's, uh, it's, uh... <laughs> I want to say... Terrence? E? Terrence? Terrence. You think my name is Terrence? Yeah, that's it. Right? Right? <laughs> I am Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans. That's it, Vegeta. I remember now. It's me, Goku! Come on! God damn it, Captain What? I thought Nappa was bad. Hey, Vegeta! Not now, Ghost of Nappa! <laughs> That's just a funny idea. Anyway. So, Lucian, what is our lovely... Don't yes. you have a third period to get to? I have a fourth of it, though. I mean, I mean, uh... <laughs> Alright, hold on. Period. Eating brownie. <laughs> There's stuff in your face with chocolatey goodness? Yes. There's a chocolatey goodness. I'm sorry. I have brownies too. And lemon bars. And seven layer bars in there. <laughs> but I went to the store today. Dragon. Dragon has got his hoard. I do. I got my hoard of I need. I need this written in, I need this written in a story. Or even in like a movie or whatever. I need a dragon now that his his treasure hoard isn't like money or gems snacks. or jewels. It's literally just snacks and food. <laughs> the dragon just has a hoard of little Debbie snack cakes. Yes. <laughs> just like the oatmeal cream. You, 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 you wake him up and he's just like you wake him up and he's just like hold on. Reaches into the back of the pile, pulls out like five ding dongs. <laughs> All right. Throws them, throws them in its mouth. I'd like to pull out five ding dongs if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dragono, didn't know you liked those so much. <laughs> I mean, it depends on who they're from. True. Anyways, Hostess is the best. They're the original. Oh, this is pretty great. Anyways. Find Mr. Vega. Oh. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Hmm. I love that face. <laughs> the face is so great. <laughs> We're not cool. Is it's just the derpy? Is it just so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I, I also don't I remember like who voiced who, by the way. Other than you voiced, uh, I voiced Amanda and you voiced uh, Goku here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I've voiced just about everybody so far. Almost, yeah. I was like, I remember you doing most of the voices, though. Yeah. But I don't remember which one, like which ones I did, other than Amanda. I think I did most of the girls, actually. Yeah. 
But I, the face I like to imagine, like, he's walking away. And I'm just blowing raspberries at him while. <laughs> 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 anyway, you Hugo must... Vega here. That is a weird name. Hugo His Vega. Name is Hugo that, Vega. Sounds, it sounds like a uh, name of like a superhero you would find in like a some sort of Power Rangers show. Yeah. <laughs> By the power yeah. of love. Friendship and justice. I am. And this gun Hugo I found. Vega. <laughs> yeah. And this gun I found. And this gun I found. <laughs> oh God! You just shot that guy. Don't worry. You're a safe citizen. Save this, this gun bleeding out. All in a day's work for a hero. <laughs> <laughs> You must be splurt. This period's almost over. Would you anyway. mind waiting in the back? Oh. Mr. Vega leads me in. I take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I might get stuck in this. Dude, I've had that thought a few times with those kinds of desks. Uh, all right, you just get was, up. It's just when I was a lot more bigger. When I yeah, I've had that thought when I was a lot more um, when I was a lot bigger. Yeah, a lot of taco, like school discs a little are not made night. for big people. There's a like taco was a lot bigger, and uh, when their sophomore junior year, not really junior, but definitely oh. sophomore year of my of high school, I was pretty chunky. Um, I was a lot smaller. I put on weight. I lost weight, thankfully, since then. Uh, you you lost it, and I me. found it. <laughs> Taco's hoping to keep losing it, actually, to be truthful, even though oh, I'm no. staring at this <laughs> Take it back! No, I'm good. I want to <laughs> be Take it back! But Dragono, if I take it back, that means I can't cosplay the really, 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 really sexy stuff like the bunny girl outfit. But I'm or a, bad. Or a, bi or a bikini. <laughs> uh, unless you're into dad bods, then, you know, I mean... I mean, certain dad bods aren't that bad, man. Same. You hear, hear that, everybody? Got a chance. Yes. You got a chance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, just the silent. Yes. In the background. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where were I can we? see. I can hear chat saying it now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, who can tell me about the unreliability? of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Etcher in the Rye. I ain't never read that book. Neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would totally love to answer this question. They're like, yeah, it's for this reason, but Taco never read the book, so I can't answer this. <laughs> nope. Yes, Colin. I also never read any of his, the rest of his works, so. 42. No, Colin, you absolute ignoramus. It is not. 42. Sit back down. Oh, he's, he's making some other joke. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow and makes fart notes. I'm in. <laughs> there are authors like that. He's not entirely wrong. I don't know if the author of Catcher in the Rye is that. But <laughs> there are authors. Where that would be appropriate. <laughs> if Taco was a teacher. <laughs> this kid this kid's my spirit animal. <laughs> ah. The whole class erupts in laughter. Oh. Alright, alright, everybody. The Very funny, <laughs> Colin. Please sit down. Hmm. Now Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately get up and please, make a break for the please, door. Please continue that thought, though, dude. <laughs> nope. Please, I want to know. Nope, we're done. <laughs> Moving on. Remember to do the reading and answer know. the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. 
Nobody's listening. Stop it, ah. Or not, I guess. This guy really does look like one of those cool teachers, though. I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. Yeah, is it, is it the the three piece suit with the vest? The dude is very styling too for a teacher. Yeah, I don't know how you afford a suit like that on a teacher salary. On a, teacher. On a public school teacher salary. Here, here's something that you should know about um, about school teachers. In some states, especially ones that have a certain thing called the lottery, um, <laughs> they uh, they use, a lot of states actually use lottery money that people pay for lottery tickets. Yeah, they use that money to pay teachers usually. Yeah, public schools are paid for by your tax dollars. Everybody's tax dollars, including the teachers, yep. because they also pay taxes. So if yes. you're a public school teacher, you pay your own paycheck. At least a part of it. Yep. Pretty much. True story. It fucking sucks. Yep. Taco would know. Taco's mom has been a school teacher for way way too long <laughs> I, I, my mother worked for the postal service so she's in the same boat she paid her own paycheck gosh yeah government employees Just, yeah they fucking suck that's why only private schools like act like actual private schools or colleges that get tuition the, only those teachers like actually make money yeah, that makes sense. Anyway. Mr. Vega turns to me and sighs. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Oh, oh, that sucks. Don't you teach oh, high schoolers? Sucks. I don't know. Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Ironically, he's not wrong. Hmm? He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because yeah, they're like, I've had the thing that they keep that doing was middle and high. Well, yeah, because you have, because like freaking, because like again, budget cuts, and a lot of the times they'll just shove more and more kids into a classroom just because they need to. Yeah, and that's 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 when you get teachers. That's when you have teachers that really care about the teaching of the students. It really, really sucks because kids don't get the need. They don't get the attention they need to for for, for learning a lot of the times because of that. Yep. Because there's just so many kids. Uh, the budget cuts here are so bad that they closed my school and consolidated us with another school. And we weren't supposed to uh, mingle at all with like middle schoolers when we were in high school. Mm -hmm. We did. Uh, like, uh, we were all in the same building. They weren't like off in one side of the building. We were gosh, on the that's, other. Nope. We that's, that's That could be a big whole nightmare because let's face it. Uh, yeah. There's a f quite a few high schoolers. I remember this partial. I remember partially on uh, hearing stuff from uh, when I did debate and went on debate tr uh, field trips. Basically, the amount of kids that uh, were doing uh, the hanky pankies, uh, <clears throat> a lot more than you would think. <laughs> yep. I would know. Taco was not one of them. Sadly. Taco was very weird in high school, though, so. Yeah. Um, but it's gotten even worse because the school that I went to after they closed my school <laughs> has also now closed. Oh, no. So there is actually not a single high school in the valley where I live now. All the kids around all, here have I, to travel like half an hour to go to school now. That fucking sucks. Yeah. I travel half a, I travel half an hour just to get to work. <laughs> yep. Nope. These kids now have to get up at the ass crack of dawn and travel like half an hour to get to school. But Taco does. That fucking sucks. Yeah, it does. Imagine. Oh yeah, and then like freaking, uh, like a l also like they also like keep debating. Like maybe we should make school longer, and maybe and like no, that will not solve your problems. <laughs> school board that will not solve your problems. It'll actually make them worse. <laughs> I 
I will make it worse. <laughs> I think we should take a page from Japan and use some of their school practices. I don't really know Japan's school practices. A lot of the stuff is actually like done by the students in like oh. Japanese schools, like oh. uh, custodial work and like managing of clubs and stuff because it teaches them uh, life skills and moral values. Like they learn to take care of stuff because if they don't, they're the ones that have to deal with it when it's like dirty or broken. I mean, that's really useful, but you know, you want to know something, Dragono? We'll have to finish this thought next time on VGM. Oh, snap. Next oh, time yeah. on VGM, everybody. Is this, is this going to be what, the freaking uh, the Chad story of Aaron again? <laughs> Who knows? Find out next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.